Hi, my name is Catherine Perez, and I will be giving a presentation to Ohio State's President Christina Johnson why online accessibility options for higher education learning should be here to stay. For the purposes of time, I'm going to explain in a surface level metaphor how the COVID-19 pandemic has shone a new light to the benefits of online accessibility learning. On this slide, an emoji is in the middle of the screen and has wide curious eyes and a soft smile. This emoji will be referenced as Billy for the rest of the metaphor. Meet Billy. Billy is wrapping up his first year at Ohio State. He has always done great in school despite not being able to see very well. One day, Ohio State announces that every student at the university must wear a pair of goggles because there is a sharp dust floating around. Billy is confused, but he wears the goggles along with everyone else so that he is safe from the sharp dust. This slide has five pairs of cartoon goggles on the right side to represent the abundance of goggles provided to the school. To the left is a cartoon image of a school with Billy expressing a confused look in the bottom right corner of the building. Billy quickly notices how much the goggles help him with his learning. He thrives and he begins to wonder how it took an entire dust wave to discover a way to accommodate his eyesight when going to class. In this image, Billy wears the pair of goggles and he is showing emotions of confidence and happiness. After a couple of years, the dust waves begins to clear out and Ohio State is no longer requiring students to wear goggles. Although some professors still provide goggles as an option for their classes, most of them do not make much of an effort to extend this option. Billy is now being expected to simply go back to his way of learning that was almost two full years ago. He is expected to forget about the possibility of having a solution that better accommodated his needs. The image on this slide shows Billy with wide eyes and a soft frown. He is showing feelings of not only surprise, but discontent and disappointment. The thing is, Billy is not alone. There is an entire community at Ohio State who feel the same way Billy does. Not all of them have trouble seeing. Some of them simply enjoyed certain aspects of learning when they wore the goggles. Others had needs that the goggles were also able to accommodate for. All in all, there is an entire community that wishes that the experience of wearing goggles could be continued and advanced at Ohio State. This slide shows six identical emojis with the same expression that Billy showed on the previous slide, wide eyes and frowns of disappointment and discontent. Again, that is a very superficial metaphor for what has happened since March of 2020. However, I do believe that it allows for a general synopsis of how certain communities feel within Ohio State's student population and perhaps how Ohio State students feel as a collective if the administration were to address it. The photo on the right shows icons of various disabilities. I will be discussing a few disabilities that I believe would be strongly accommodated for if online accessibility options were continued and encouraged at Ohio State. These include medical leave, bed rest, the deaf community, and disabled bodies. Students who must attend unprecedented medical obligations or are on bed rest must sacrifice either their physical or mental well-being by attending class. Current methods of excused absences do not account for the extra effort students must put in to not fall behind on class material. By requiring professors to either upload recorded lectures or have a live Zoom option, these students have more opportunities to keep up with class material without stressing about the time frame of how long their circumstances may inhibit them from attending an in-person class. This slide shows an image of Zoom's widescreen toolbar that I access via Carmen Zoom. Below, I enlarge three of the tool icons. Reading from left to right, the enlarged icons are the chat, the record, and the live transcript. The chat tool is a great way for those who are attending Zoom sessions to type questions, comments, or concerns without interrupting an entire class session. Virtual students can leave a remark in the chat and the professors who are teaching in-person classes can attend the chat when they have a moment. The record tool is a great way for professors to record a live class session or class content on their own time. Either way, this leads to greater accessibility for students who may have circumstances that prohibits them from to, to attend a synchronous meeting without falling behind on class material. Lastly, the live transcript tool provides closed captioning as someone is speaking. This leads to great opportunities for students to not exclusively rely on auditory learning. The deaf community can benefit from this, especially currently as masks are being enforced. Also, people with ADHD like myself can benefit from the option to hear and read along lectures to help limit inattention. Christina Johnson, I hope you can begin to see how the exploration of online accessibility options during the COVID-19 pandemic cannot be something that we simply turn our backs on. Although it was a tough transition with ups and downs, it shone light on the limitless ways how it can help students obtain their degree. 
In-person synchronous classes with strict attendance policies is not something that we have to stick with simply because it was the traditional form of education prior to, uh, to March 2020. We have the chance to learn from this experience and remodel higher education to be more accessible to the entire student population. But just because it is the right thing to do and just because the past two years have been a learning experience does not mean that we are quite experts yet. It is important for you and your administrative faculty to support Ohio State staff in implementing these strategies. They need technological training and the adequate resources to ensure that the responsibility does not fall entirely on the course instructors. Furthermore, not every class structure will be the same and that's okay. Like I said, it is a learning curve that we are still riding. We can explore ways to make it possible for every classroom style without dismissing the idea altogether. It will take effort and it will take time, but the last thing it should take is another pandemic to make it a priority. Thank you so much for listening and here are my sources of my images.